I am here today to talk to you about the economic strategies when it comes to insulating homes and other commercial buildings. We have broken down the video into four parts. These parts are the importance of insulation, the various types, the economic benefit which is the main focus of this presentation and finally we will discuss a few practices to better insulate your own home and will save a few extra bucks on your heating bills. First off, what is insulation and why we need it? Insulation simply is any material that is used as a barrier to prevent heat from escaping the walls of your home or of any building. Look at this picture. This is a thermal image of an ordinary home. You can see that the left part of the house is wasting energy because it is not well insulated. Heat is constantly escaping your home through the windows and walls by up to 60%. This is where good insulation becomes almost essential for your financial sake. Well insulated homes can save up to 50% of the energy used to heat or cool your home. This correlates to being able to install a cheaper HVAC system since the amount of energy being lost will be minimized. Just like with anything else, there are a lot of different materials to insulate your home. We are going to name the most important and use one. Fiberglass is cheap and it is commonly used, but it requires careful handling. Minor wool is cheap, is effective but it is not fire resistant. Cellulose comes from recycled paper. It is fire resistant, it is eco-friendly and effective, but it is a little bit hard to apply. Polyurethane is an all-around good insulation product, though not particularly eco-friendly. Aerogel. It is a relatively new material. It is the most expensive one, but definitely the best type of insulation. It is only used in high demanding applications. Independently of the material, the insulation layer can be allocated outside of the wall or in the inside part of the wall. This is the difference between internal and external insulation. Cold bridging can occur at partition walls when using internal wall insulation, but it is eliminated when using external wall insulation. The cold is restricted to the outside surface. On the other hand, internal insulation has lower installation and maintenance costs, and both are commonly used depending on the climate. So let's map out the heat losses in an ordinary home. Heat can escape from a house if the windows, doors and walls are not properly sealed and insulated. This can increase the utility bill a tremendous amount and is not economical and efficient for the environment. That is why I'm going to talk about the economic benefits of insulation. The average American family spends $1,900 per year on home utility bills. Heating and cooling account for the largest portion of residential utility bills, especially in cold areas like Illinois, reaching more than 50% of the bill. Let's remember an important factor of insulation that we covered in class, the air value, which is the measure of thermal resistance through materials, such as insulation and assemblies of materials. A high air value is equivalent to a good insulator. In this graph, we can see that adding any insulation to an insulated home can save much more energy than adding more insulation to already insulated homes. The most energy savings occur initially when you gradually increase your R value. Optimal values are between 4 and 8. Adding much more insulation won't bring significant savings and the cost will be much higher. Now you know a lot about the insulation, so let's see an example using this online calculator for a house in Chicago area. We are going to add insulation to update the R value from 1 to 8 it will have energy cost savings of around $1,400 per year when using natural heating and much higher with electricity or fuel oil system. Thermal insulation can be seen as an excellent financial investment. Proper insulation reduces the cost of residential heating and cooling by over 40%, so it can pay for itself in around 3-4 years. 
it's a great deal not just for the homeowner but for the environment as well. That's all. I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.